SVFalcons.com. Here with Jeffrey Collings after a 4-0 win over Western Washington. Jeffrey, your thoughts on this win? Uh, it was just a really good team win. Uh, we came out firing at the beginning, scored two goals in like five minutes, and uh, just really got after him at the start. And then, uh, you know, went into second half, just needing one more goal to feel that we needed to put him away, and we got two more, and then we just uh, shut him out. So it felt pretty good. You mentioned the early quick goals, and actually took 3:25 to have yeah. you up 2-0. Uh, talk about those two goals. Well, the first one um, was just a through ball in, and Mori was able to get in behind and use his pace and touch it past uh, the goalie. And then the second one, I think, came off a corner kick to the back post, and uh, Chaz Jenkins was there to clean it all up and just put it away. Uh, are you uh, defenders happy when one of your uh, back line mates gets a goal? Oh, absolutely. It's always good to see some of us get rewarded for all the hard work that we do back there on the offensive side, too. Maurice Uchia has been on a tear yeah. lately. He was a GNAC Player of the Week for last week. Uh, he has been has now three goals in the last four games. Why has he been so effective? Well, it, just his runs have been really good, and, you know, it, it makes it really easy for the back line just to be able to find him in behind space and have confidence for him to get on the end of some balls because he's got some great pace. Then uh, you picked up a couple uh, late goals, uh, Gabe Kellum and Matt Merchant, uh, second half goals to make it 4-0. Talk about those yeah. two. Uh, Gabe was just able to take some people on and just slot it past the goalie. And then um, the fourth goal was actually we got it down in the corner. Uh, we were able to pull it back. I was able to whip a ball in. Keeper came up and punched it, and Merch was at the top of the box and just thundered a volley past the goalie. So it was a good goal. First nine games of this season, your team had uh, scored 10 goals combined. In these last four games, you scored 14. Yeah. What, uh, to what do you attribute the offensive onslaught? Just our hard work. Uh, we've really been coming out in practice and just worry, like really working on getting after people and you know trying to dictate the pace of the game. And so, um, you know, we just got back to basics and just kind of wanted to play our brand of soccer. So, it's been showing really well. Well, we'd be remiss, even though it was a four-goal output here by your offense. Uh, remiss if we didn't talk about the defense. Get yeah. a shutout. Talk about the defense performance. Well, I just think it was a solid game overall. Um, Cody didn't have to make too many big saves, which is always good for us, but you know, it's always nice to have him back there if we need it. Um, just everyone played a really solid game and shut him down, so yeah. Well, you're home for two games this week, and now you hit back, head back yeah. on the road right again. Uh, your final two road games though, the regular season, what do you need to do to be successful on the road this time? Uh, I just think we need to focus. We've been really good on the road. I think uh, you know, we're just way more focused on the road and we know what we need to do to get the wins there so I think we'll be ready as ever to close it out here. Your team is sitting in first place in the conference standings. Is it too early to be thinking about the repeat or what what are your thoughts on that? Uh, I mean it's in the back of our mind but at this point we're just worrying about one game at a time and you know Concordia is next on our list so you know we tied them last time so we're looking forward to paying them a visit. Well thank you very much congratulations. Thanks go Falcons.